to another All Sparks review right here on YouTube. My name is Will. The catalog's getting bigger. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell. Like I said a couple of weeks ago, I was going to do a video on the two Transformers that started this entire collection behind me and to my side. Those two Transformers changed my entire life, and I'm not joking when I say that. They changed basically everything to what I do nowadays with the collection to even showing you guys my collection, how to transform them or even just, just showing them off um, letting everybody see basically the, the, the transformers and why you should have these ones and this one needs no introduction Transformers Armada Optimus Prime I can't wait to show you guys the gimmicks, the transformation, the add-ons this guy got and it brought me back into loving Transformers and started the collection. Let's get him transformed and see what he's like. Well here he is folks, Optimus Prime transformed. Well like I said the Armada version was the probably, it wasn't the first Optimus Prime like I said I got when I was growing up but this was the one that started the collection that I have now. That's a fantastic figure. They got everything right with how Optimus is meant to look. Perfect, perfect representation of him. Even down to his rifle, which I just absolutely love. I love that rifle. So let's take that off just now. And of course, it comes with his Minicon spark plug. Take him off just now, as well. Let's unhook the trailer. Keep that aside, because there's something special I want to show with the trailer. So, here is Optimus in truck mode. And as you can clearly see, it's just your basic red carbon, blue legs, and everything else is hidden underneath. And it looks like he's got a little hair hanging from him as well. But... Very, very solid figure. Good bit of weight on him. And I've had him, like I said, since I was 18. I'm now 33, so I've had him since I was 18. The exact same figure. Um, I've not bought any upgrades or anything like that to him. Even I think the batteries are still the same <laughs> as inside the trailer. And that's one of the gimmicks I want to show you just a little bit on. Okay, so let's get him transformed. Transform him. Flip down the hood and just pin that there. If you come round here, you can see he's got his own matrix of leadership. Unfortunately, that can't come out. The arms for Optimus, what we'll do is actually see the exhausts. We'll take them off because they can get in the road. The arms come round just like that. So it looks like he's doing press ups. Then the head just pull slightly to part and that will show his head there. So it's going to look like that. And that's basically it. So all you're doing now is pulling out the legs, flipping around the feet. And there he is. That's actually how easy Optimus is to transform. He's really simple. And this mode is pretty cool as well. And we'll put these back on just now, just while we're doing this. And that saves me losing them. And of course, just to finish it off, just expose the hands. And there we have it. Optimus Prime transformed. Now, if you've been following me uh, how long have I been doing YouTube now? Eight years. You know one of my very first videos was the Transformers Armada video game and using Optimus Prime. And I'm going to equip his accessories just now just so I can make us look good. You can take off his exhausts and make them into a gun. I'll do that after I take this bit off. But spark plug, we can turn them over and put spark plug blank in there. 
as if he's power linked. And I'm going to cut to footage now. <laughs> So that was me doing the game back in the day when I'd done my gaming channel. But like, you can make his head move, he can talk, everything. I mean, this is a Hasbro edition. The Takara, these kind of bronze gold parts are all yellow. I quite like them like this. I'm not a big fan of yellow over Optimus, but I like them like that. And he is pretty solid. It's not very poseable. You can get some posability out of the legs. And that, but like with the hand, you can just get the gun up and stuff, and that's basically it. Take Optimus away, we're going to show you Spark Plug. Spark Plug again, he can transform. If I remember how, I've not, trans I've not transformed Spark Plug in years, but he's very simple for a Minicron transformation, and it's just doing it quickly, just to show. And there you have it. Spark plug, mini coin. And in the game, it was always brilliant because you just run after Optimus when Optimus was fighting everybody. Fantastic. And I was just getting back into transformation mode. But that was the gimmick in the cartoon, of course, was the mini coins unleashed this hidden power in the Autobots and Decepticons. And it was the same in the game. They, they boosted up uh, the power in these figures. So let's take away his rifle. Let's take that out just now. And like I said, you can make these parts into guns. I don't know why he never really... He did use them as blasters in the cartoon, but he never transformed them into this like kind of a like, pistol. Let's just join together, and there you go. You've got this... Let's just see pistol when you you'd rather have that. That's Optimus's gun. You don't want something that's not his gun. Now again, I'm gonna keep these off. I'm gonna put them aside because there's more to this figure than meets the eye. Oh, I've always wanted to use that in one of these videos. Now let's take him away. And bring in the trailer. Now this is where certain gimmicks come into play, especially the Power Masters Optimus Prime Generation One, Optimus Prime. You name it, this this has got it. So just unhook it. So it does this, and hopefully on this take, hopefully <laughs> this should do what it does. So I'm just looking for the power. Okay, we've got that. Alright, let's see if it still works. Let's see if I can give it a hand. With the trailer for this version, um, I've tried to transform a gimmick. <laughs> it does transform, okay, there is a switch down here you can press. And it seems to be this is, I think the batteries have finally died. Um, but basically what it does, you turn the switch on, okay? On Optimus, there's a button. You press him. Now, as long these are all unhooked, this base will bring it a little bit forward. Well, up here, and there's Optimus with a battle station. Very similar to Power Masters Optimus Prime. It's got a lot of stuff going on. There were a lot of turrets and stuff. And you can place Optimus in the middle. It uh, doesn't really sit well here, but you can place him on and like you can put the gun here, stuff like that. But the main gimmick again to this Optimus Prime is this. Bringing up the back and then the legs. And closing them here. Tidying that up. We have a new set of legs ready to go on. Bringing back an Optimus. Now you've seen the legs in that trailer. So what does this mean? Basically, get those arms back down. 
this one's still been a bit stiff. And let's bring them to here. So they've got to be basically right angled. Back to doing these press ups. Close over Optimus's cabin. So you've got that. His legs flip down the feet and just bring them that way. And then all you're doing is pull them apart, twist them up, and as you can see right away where this is going, <laughs> this is where it's going. I bring around Optimus, bring around the cabin, there's two little slots that line up here. So that's you joining him on his leg. There goes the head. That's ready. And just making sure. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn him round. Pick him up. Make sure everyone's clicked in. And there we have it. That is the other gimmick to this figure. Pull out the exhaust in his head. I'm going to angle the camera a fraction down. So you can see it better. And there you go. Armada. Optimus Prime. Now let's bring back in spark plug. He goes on the shoulder. Like so. And of course let's bring on his battle rifle. Now I think the batteries in Optimus still work. And if they do, there's a button. Let's bring the gun up to there. See if this still works after all these years, people. Yep. And I've just dropped spark plug, but the button works. <laughs> you must be wondering, well, why haven't you put the exhausts back on the top of the arms? There is another gimmick to this figure. So let's take Optimus away. And I think this is only going to be the chance I get to talk about these two Transformers in the channel. So I'm as well doing it all in the one video. This is Overload. Uh, he was repainted in Energon to be Ultra Magnus. And the reason I'm showing this is he can clip onto the trailer, you can drag him, you put Jetfire the shuttle on top of him. But the reason I'm showing him for this to go onto that, take his head off, drag them down, extend the arms, lift them up, turn them round. So the wheel is underneath. Come the legs, take them off, and flip them round like so. So basically, you see two holes right there. Then it's just a case of flipping them over like that. So you've got these big shields. Come back here to the gun parts, lift up the foot panel. Put it in close, same again, foot panel up, put in, close, and it looks like one of the missiles failed when I was getting them ready, so we'll put that back in. So this is basically what you've got going onto the shoulder of Optimus Prime, so you just slide the cannons onto the front here. Like so. So you've got it looking like that. Inside Optimus Prime at the back you're going to see these little red dots and all you're doing is lining them up. So this is going to be an elaborate cut because I don't know how easy this is going to be because it's not the easiest to clip on. I'm going to be honest with you there. When everyone's joined on and complete, you can bring down the cannons. So Optimus has got I'm going to bring them back. These shoulder cannons connected onto them. It's such an amazing gimmick. And of course, what do you do with overload, Overload's head? Simple. Turn it over, pull out the two little pistols on the bottom, and that can just slot in like so. 
And there you go, you've got Optimus Prime combined with Overload into basically just a kick ass robot. That is just incredible. Absolutely love this figure. Again, you'd be wondering, but well, there's more to this figure than just that. Of course, there is. As I move this Optimus away, to the best I can, we bring a camera just a fraction this way. We put that arm down so you don't see that gun. It takes all my focus away. So let's keep that arm down. And I'm going to bring in the other gimmick. Now, the reason I put Overload on that Optimus Prime is because you can combine them with Jetfire to make Jet Optimus. And the Optimus I've equipped to that is the Power Links Optimus. It's just when, like, near at the end of Armada, one of the missiles just fell off. All the Autobots Transformers, like, it's like everything's upgraded. And Optimus Prime becomes like this kind of, it's like a dark greyish blue for the toy. But in the cartoon, he looked more kind of black, but a light black. And, of course, you join Jetfire's legs onto him. And... Like it can stand no bad, but the problem is, as soon as you put Overload on with the backpack, this figure just likes to just fall backwards. So that's how he never went on with this one. I didn't put it on with this one. There is another Optimus Prime and Overload there in the Armada series for Energon, and they're just basically yellow, uh, yellow and black. One day I might get them. One day. But... I've always, 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 always properly wanted to do a video on my first Transformers that I got to get the collection. So this is Optimus Prime out of the way. We've got Optimus Prime done. And, of course, we've got his counterpart and power links. We've got the add-ons of Overload and Jetfire combined onto him as well. Just amazing figures. Absolutely fantastic. Hopefully, they really release these guys. Uh... I highly recommend you pick these ones up if you can. Like any version is perfect uh, for the Mad Optimus Prime. And just look, look at the height, look at the bulk, look at the stuff you can do, and it's just fantastic. And I hope you all like that. Next up, we've got another Decepticon coming. As always guys thank you i hope you really enjoyed the video as always like and subscribe the channel be sure to follow us on facebook all sparks reviews and now you can follow all sparks reviews on twitter at all spark yt and of course you can follow myself on twitch at optimus wallbar 85 just type that in the search engine at the top also a massive thank you once again to the cybertronic spree for their amazing track Cybertronic Warrior. I really do hope you guys check them out and give them much support and much love. One of the most fantastic bands I've ever heard and do amazing covers. So please check them out right here on YouTube, Twitter and Facebook. And as always guys, tell all one.